John 12, 46. Jesus said, I am come into the world. I am come as the light of the world. So that whoever believes in me shall not remain in darkness. I have come as the light of the world. So that those who believe in me shall not remain in darkness. Three things going on there. Jesus is telling us that he's the light. When the light turns on, you see things and you see them clearly. If you want to see everything clearly, who God is, the sin of man, love and, and hatred against that love. If you want to see light and darkness in its purest forms, the light of Christ shines on the darkness of man. I'm going to say that again. The light of Christ came and shined the light of dark onto the darkness of man, exposing the sin of man. You know, Jesus exposes our sin just by his presence. Just by his presence. Ask any Christian, they'll tell you. When the presence of the Lord is in our lives, we are keenly, acutely aware of our mistakes and of our making sin. And it's not an awareness of that we feel Jesus is there, God is there with a hammer waiting to smash us. It's an awareness that the Spirit of God, Christ in us, the hope of glory, Jesus is watching us and he's not pleased or he's hurt, or he's, oh, I child, I can't believe you did that. And we feel that disappointment. We feel that war, that, that, that holiness of Jesus. That, that he doesn't want us to do these things, or think these things, or say these things. As Christians, he's always prompting us through the Spirit. Now, Jesus said he came as, as light, and only those who believe in him will not remain in darkness. So if you think that you're going to follow another light, another truth, another way, there isn't one. This is hard for some people, many people, because they want to believe there's many ways to heaven. You know, I was watching... I forget what Disney movie it was, or but it had to do with a philosophy that you know there were demons, and and there was there was good and there was bad. Where did the where did demons come from in another religion? Where did good and bad, you know, the the fight good and evil, where did that come from? There's a, it it all stems from the beginning, God. We all all religions have some part of the Bible. Believe it or not, some part in their in their beliefs, because really you can't you can't escape. There is good, and there is evil, but there's only one way to eternal good, and that's Christ Jesus. There's only one true light, and that's Christ Jesus. Now, Jesus said that there there is false light. That that we have light in our eyes, what we see. The spirit that's in us, okay? This light, the light of men. We have this light. And he says, if your eye be full of light, and that light is darkness, how great is that darkness? So that means that we can have false light. We can think that we're seeing things correctly, but it's, it's a lie. The devil has placed false light in our understanding. False light in our vision and we're not seeing the truth. We just think we are. We're being fooled. Don't fool yourself. There's only one way, only one truth, only one life, only one light. And that's Christ Jesus. Anything else, any other way that you think is to heaven is false. Any other light, any other pure, purity and, and wholesomeness and, and goodness that you think you're experiencing, if it's not in Christ Jesus, it is is not real and you'll find that out when you stand before God after you've left this world don't wait till then don't wait till then understand that you must believe in Christ Jesus 
to have the true light. And this true light exposes who God is to his children, to those who accept him, and exposes what sin is in this world so that we can rightly divide the truth. We can rightly divide the word of God. As Christians, we can say, I know the difference between the light of God and the darkness of this world. The light of Jesus and the darkness in the evil of mankind. And I can see even my own darkness that comes up and tries to rear its ugly head and put it under the feet of Jesus because God is the light and he shines and exposes all my little difficulties, all my little mistakes, big mistakes, all my wrong thought processes. And it's, it is a process. Day by day, year by year, God is, is sanctifying us. He's coming in and he's touching and shining the light on different parts of our lives where he wants us to change. Change into what? To become more like him. More like him with what we say and what we do and what we think. He wants us to have his light. He wants us to have his heart. He wants us to have his mind. All while still being who we are. Sharing the love and light of Christ with everyone. But the, the light only, only comes from Jesus. No one else. You will always be blind until you see Jesus. He is the light of the world and will take you from the darkness into his marvelous light if you would just receive him. God bless you.